So many people to talk to. It's gonna be like episode two again. Or no, episode one, sorry. Part two. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Yeah, this school's Max, garbage. Are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. He's like, fuck so this shit, I'm not talking about your life. <laughs> even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I Very feel true. like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. Uh, and simply, I'm just too good for all you people. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have Man, to see we really are. Dance. Plus, we really, really are a couple. The old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Oh boy, don't Pops cheat on me already. Teacher. Rose, you are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked what to the hell would while. he know? Now that is a great plan. Well, he does is, like, smoke pot all day. <laughs> and skateboard. Or pretend to skateboard. Like Let's a pretentious douche. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Alright, I'm gonna catch your ball. Watch this. I'm gonna fuck your shit up today. Huh? No. No, 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 no. This is, this is not happening. No, no, no. Ah, oh, fuck you. I will get this. Fuck you. No! Wow, that went right through me. All right. I guess I'm just too good for that. It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nugs. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the wow. park sometime. That was some useful information. Good job, Chloe. <sighs> I gotta do all the work around here. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Yeah, yes I am. I'm far more than good. You better change that phrasing there, buddy. I'm fucking amazing. And nothing less. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. Jesus I like Christ. This revolutionary Everyone likes the <laughs> Only Everyone likes I can Kate now. Revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Well, by the way, you can't. So. Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he 
He's still gotta be. It's on not campus. a rumor. It's true. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Oh. Wait. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? What's that information for? I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Hmm. Eh, fuck it. Let's see what can happen with the cause. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan uh, is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I'm, I'm not sure how we're sticking it up to them by going to the exact thing that they're hosting. And just... And just participating in it, but... Whatever. Um, Thanks again for making me feel better and pushing me to the party. Let's chat later, Max. Right, so... I have nothing to rewind there, right? Uh, there was that one thing... That was some information. That was some... That was like a topic information. I don't know for what, though. I, had to I don't recall. Another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. I don't know, man. It looks pretty normal to me right now. But... Everyone's so fascinated with uh, making Arcadia Bay into a living entity. Yeah, whatever. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? But you're right, Samuel. Everything is changing. And everything will change. Soon. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I guess I have to... No, I guess I have to... That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Yay! You actually made a friend, Samuel. Or Vince How Gilligan. are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Everyone fucking can read me like a book, I swear to God. Like a picture book. Jesus Christ. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students. Gant. <laughs> Gant, you made one friend, Samuel, and you can't even remember her goddamn name. <sighs> you're not gonna make it in this world, man. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... Max... Your dreams? All I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Alright. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Alright, this is some freaky shit going on. This guy knows more than he's leading on. That's for sure. Samuel, you better tell me what the fuck you know. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Well, I, I don't believe anything ever ends, especially time. 
That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. Can sense it. A a Max. Wow. I don't That's even like better than me. All. Well, out with it already. Tell me what it is. I'll t I'll tell you if you're right or wrong, because I fucking know. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Oh my god, we have so much to go over. All right. What do you think of Kate? I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Hmm. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. Why? I hate bullies. Is Kate like I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I'm not a spirit, man. I'm a person. I hope she finds them now. In fact, I'm not even a person. I'm I'm super I'm 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 above that. I'm something else entirely. All of you will learn soon. Have you seen and by the way, what's so special about Kate? Is she like some that destructive since he was suspended. badass in secret? You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about Good story. Him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. And what is that? Are you like watching me when I take a shit? Because... I mean, I mean, it's fine by me, but just let me know. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. <sighs> he sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Can you just, can you just not be so fucking vague and just get out with it already? Like, goddamn. He wishes he could. Mr. Yeah, Madsen that's right, Max. The surveillance in the world, but he's still blind. I Very think true. Have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. And what is that angle? Please tell me. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Oh my god. Alright. Start with the dead birds. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse <laughs> is in the air. It's so obvious. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. It's just fate, man. It's all gonna happen anyway. Explain all those poor beasts. For no reason at all. My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they, they just cry. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? Spot on, Samuel. You and Spot Arcadia on. Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, thanks, Vince. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... I'd go on a massacre. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Right, there we go. I was waiting for that. I wanted to do that first, but oh well. Hmm. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Why, yes. How would you? 
get that food in your belly. Come on. There we go. Shut up. I'm Shut up, I'm feeding squirrels. Aw, oh, look, he's not so shy now. I'm gonna take a photo of you, and I don't even care about your consent. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Eat up. Food is the universal language. Alright, oh, shit. Okay, we have all this crap. Uh, Where do we leave off? I'm gonna assume, yeah, okay, we did all that, so, here we go, page 53, 54, 55, 56, nice, okay, now, look at that photo, Ah, oh, shit, we, like, missed a couple of things, fucking hell, <laughs> oh, boy, things are going great. All right. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Looks like she's just dozing off. She's like, oh, I can't, I can't believe I'm going to have to deal with this guy. Fuck. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance breed. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty amazing. I have to admit. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Maybe it's beyond science. Let's just entertain uh, Vince Gilligan's thoughts for a second. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. Damn, Miss Grant. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Erosion, you say? You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know enough. something I don't. <laughs> I think I do. Okay, I'm out with it. There you go. I shall time. Wormholes and chaos theory. Oh, never mind. Like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel... Just what? Sign me up. Would you really change time? Hey, gravity's Not theory too. Not after reading that Bradbury story. A sound of thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. How do you know? Huh? I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? That's right. You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. And these people are smart. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Nah. Too fucking good for that. The Royal Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. Yeah, don't get all angry black woman with me. Tasteless, given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? They don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Is that what they're about? Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. 
Apparently it does. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. What about Nathan? Does he give you I hope? I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Let's be a little bit deductive here. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get Maybe going. it's the exact opposite. I I'll see you later. <laughs> Why did she do that? She's like... <laughs> Anyone see that? She just, like, thrusted her... Her arms out like that twice in a row. <laughs> They're right there, Samuel. It's okay. See? No, here. Not there. Here. <sighs> Freaking idiot. <laughs> Eat up. Food is the universal. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Yeah, fight the power. Soon, Max. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel is saying. Fight the power so I can take it. Oh, great. Sounds good to me. Chloe stole money from the Handicap Access Fund. <sighs> We're going to hell. Yeah, probably not. Alright, Chloe, let's get away. Hold I on. can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Hey. Hey. We are dedicated lesbians now. You have no part in this. Hey, don't touch her. Don't touch her. She is my lesbian partner. Not yours. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. I don't care! Oh, I forgot about clear. Brooke. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Oh shit, we forgot about Brooke. Is there something I can do about that? Probably not. Probably not without having to redo some shit. God damn it. It's so lame, they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Well, I'll summarize Thank it for you. you. She's a bitch. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Okay. Got a lot of shit to Who check out here. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. Well, that's helpful. Narrow things down. Oh shit, Kate. How the fuck does she know that? Supermax, in case you need, still need it. Nathan's room number is 111. Wow. So much variety. Well, how the fuck did she figure that out? Hmm. Weird. I don't know. Oh, Kate brings it. So. Room 111 is the magic number. Well, that's not going to stop me from Evan. looking around. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Evan's a faggot. Just like those guys. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. Skateboarding ain't a crime. All right. Just wanted to listen to that. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Safety first. Look before you lust. Always use protection and secure your future. Who would steal cat pics? 
the missing cat picks. I swear, there there is something to this. This is all gonna it's all gonna come back. It's all gonna come back to this in the end. I swear to God, it will. On September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. I don't care about the school books, but my tablet has a large picture file of my cat, of my late cats. Rip, so I'll pay a cash reward, no question asked. Please. These cats were my best friends. Oh boy. Maybe the douche just give up at this point. We're four episodes in, nothing's happened. Left. Anyone, so, someone who wanted those cat pics, but I don't think they're gonna give them back. So casual gamers, your time is over. Join Gamer Guys. Every week we play and analyze a new game from COD to WoW, from strategy to shooters. Game on. Fridays, Wexler Media Center, 7 p.m. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit. Anyway. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Sit and shit. Free glory hole. Luke. I don't know what the fuck that says. Welcome to Black Smell, dorm think tank. All right. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Think tank? Do they host like a news show in there or something? Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Yeah, apparently everyone's afraid of her now. Don't know what the hell that's about. Even after Kate. Nobody here learned anything about bullying. <laughs> Can I has art? Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Bigfoot's got big balls. Maybe they don't. Maybe, maybe Bigfoot's compensating. I mean, who knows? Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Please, so please, loud. please stay away, Nathan. What? I didn't actually look there yet, Max. God damn it. This just makes me think of Kate. Don't be bullied. If you're the victim of bullying, you are not alone. Come join a monthly support slash discussion group. Privacy guaranteed. Oh, what's this? Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. <laughs> uh, warning, beta fag alert. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Yeah, you're not violent enough, Max. You gotta be violent, just push it in the right direction. Direction that helps us win. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Sorry, Kate. Oh, you big Very insightful. Bigfoot stomp. Discover Oregon's biggest secret. What, that, that our football team can stomp? This can only be Nathan's room. The Prescott's rule this town. Man, he's very fucking explicit about it. I mean, I get going in head first, but might not want to advertise everything, you know. I'm surprised that I didn't alert anyone. I mean, damn. I think I might have taken a few more than that, also. A few more hits than that. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. What movie is that? <laughs> A very visual one, apparently. Joyce, what the fuck do you want now? Oh my god, yeah, basically she's just kind of being a bitch more. Uh, she can't keep blaming David now. Well, unless David still sticks around in some capacity. I mean, you never know. Let's see. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. Oh my. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. 
Yeah, how dare you be rich? I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Yeah, they just need to be on top here. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Ooh. Hmm. That is so Chloe. Uh, hey asshole, we need to talk, or I'm gonna tell everybody what you did, and you're gonna oh pay, motherfucker. God. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Let's see. Reminiscent of the account Chloe told of, uh, told us back at the end of episode one with Nathan. Mm. That must There's be the lamp. lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Yep. Man, he may be rich, but he's also lazy. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Hmm. Destructive personality? Psychotic rage? Just my kind of guy. We need to recruit Nathan. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. <laughs> Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. He's always got this, like, uh, sort of dark grayish filter to it, but I actually like that. It's so, so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. Mm, looks like he's taking notes to the dead birds, too. Mm, let's see. Prescription. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Who knows, maybe he would have been even more uh, chaotic without them. This room is like Nathan's mind. Wow, he's got the same thing playing on his computer. Well, I guess it's a projector. Ooh. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Why the hell does he have this playing? Like, what does it mean? I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. God damn. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. No one tells me what to do. They tell me where to suit, I shoot him. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. <sighs> hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious pad of favors. I even told my dad to keep the pics away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get Look, justice. it's a video. There's a video. Finally, we can watch it. Come on. Go. Go. No. Ah, oh, this game. Fuck. Man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panastates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to your destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is gonna get an enema, along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yeah, and basically her sister is, like, much nicer, and, you know, not, not really in line with her dad's way of thinking and all that, so, yeah. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. 250. Extreme diet suppressant available online without prescription. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. <laughs> oh, he's got that right. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. 
I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. <laughs> backpedaling, backpedaling. Fun stuff. Ooh. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... It's a good question. Ooh. Nathan likes his tortured subjects. Welcome to the boys' dorm. Um. Max? Okay, let's just do that Nathan again. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm more of just like killing type. Don't really want to do with torture. It's too boring. all have a dark pattern. Do they? Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. Probably faps to it. Nathan Prescott. Oh, yeah, definitely. All American teen. <laughs> Butts and boobs. Oregon's best boobs. Crystal. Brand new shoot. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Scratch marks. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? I wonder too. Hmm. Let's find out what you're hiding. Wow. Oh yes, little phone. Why would he put it there now. though? Like I think I'm much better places. Oh well. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Also, he hid it right in the place that has, like, scratch marks on it. Doesn't seem very wise. And again, this guy is kind of out of his mind, I guess. Alright, let's get that fuck out of here. Alright, Chloe, we got some shit. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. So creepy. Out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh shit. What are you doing in my <laughs> dorm? Uh You're I got such nothing. a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan.